Hi, I'm Mike Kaufman. At this point, you already know how to add new assets and define rules and reactions in VLOC. Now I want to show you two examples of VLOC's advanced features. First, let me show you how easy it is to set VLOC to perform an entire series of predefined actions with one instruction. Let's say I'm the manager of a museum. Naturally, all of my paintings are secured with RFID tags. But what if I want to send four of my Renaissance paintings for restoration? Normally, removing paintings from the exhibition would require me to scan the painting's RFID tag, change its location, update its status, and change its item groupings. I'd have to repeat this entire process with every single painting, and I could easily miss something. To make things easy, I've set all of these actions as one macro function on VLOOK. Now all I have to do is choose the function which will perform all the actions, scan the painting, and the system will automatically execute this entire series of actions. That way I can change locations, statuses, item groupings, the person to an item is linked, and much more. Now let me show you a second example of VLOX advanced features. How to create a sophisticated report. Let's say I'm the manager of a warehouse and I want to see how much time I forklift spend in each one of the warehouses I own. All I have to do, I open a new report and give it a name. Warehouse Forklifts. I select the metric group, average dwell time. I select location, and my new report is ready. Once the report has been created, I can use any time frame for its results. For example, I can see how much time the forklift spent in the different warehouses this month, or yesterday, or in any period of time I define. These parameters are saved here, and I can use them whenever I want. Here's another example. Let's say I'm the manager of a hospital, and I want to see which type of equipment is most frequently lost. I click number of events, I select category, that's it. This will show me the number of times an alert was raised for each type of missing hospital equipment. I now want to fine-tune my report so it refers only to unauthorized exits. All I have to do is select unauthorized exit from my list of filters and select include. There are so many more options with this report and many, many more advanced VLOC features. But I'll save it for another time.